Welcome back to Man on the Mic podcast with your hosts MC Kitoro the party recipe alongside the architect of dreams Ali Mbacho Morenga. Yeah 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 Ali ukoje? Kupoa kabisa. Kupoa kabisa. If if you're new to this space uh, take this time to subscribe to our channel before to introduce here our guests, you know? Yeah. Uh, I think for the first time, the very first time kosa tuko na privilege ni male guest alafu ni professional mm, sindio yeah, yeah. hii ni profession yake yeah, mm. so utauza sera kidogo ukitumia <laughs> kama guinea pigs uh, yeah yeah so if you're new to this space as i, I told you uh, take this time to subscribe to like this video uh, and leave a comment eh uh, utuambie wewe ni mgeni tutakuwa na kutreat vizuri yeah, yeah na wale wanarudi we do this for you because of you ali wiki imekuwaaje kiangu iko shwari kabisa mm. kila kitu iko sawa una highlight highlight kuna jama fulani hapo alikuwa ameniomba sotano. Mhm. Eh ni tu jama fulani tu ana kwa kuanga karibu na place na stay. Uh-huh. So hiyo sotano alikuwa amekaa sana kaa ni lipi? Uh-huh. Nilikuwa nafurahia hivyo juu ilikuwa namfanya ani ani avoid avoid kidogo. Jona kwanga hawa sasa unajua watu wanakufuata wana. Sasa mzee amenilipa hiyo do. <laughs> so so, so friends you never would. Anaanza kunifuata. Wewe <laughs> po jamaa uni hivi video. <laughs> You know that's very disappointing. Hey, mtu anakufa ama ni mimi. Asinanga dini yako, ni sawa. Ni sawa. Eh, so before ni hata siko atuko nimesema majina yake. But kindly introduce yourself. Your camera iko hapo mbele yako. Uh-huh. Yeah. Ah, sawa sawa. Mm. Nasikia wenyewe mko na mastery mob hapa, nataka tutajibamba. Kabisa. <laughs> 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 na ito Alfi. Mm. Uh, mimi ni counseling psychologist na area yenye mo focus on mostly ni addiction, trauma na loss and grief. Hiyo ndio area mo focus on The reason why niko hizo area tatu ni juu trauma builds into addiction addiction builds into loss and grief so hizo area tatu zinakuanga very hot button issues in society so mm-hmm. no nime focus hapo sana training yangu ni kama addiction counselor but i'm also trauma informed so mean addiction counselor with a trauma informed background yeah. so niko trained in trauma therapy yeah. 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 So when a therapist, been a therapist. Ah, yes, awesome. like lakini ni to counseling psychologist. Juu juu therapist you kufunga place moja. Counseling ah, psychologist means okay. naweza cover a lot. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Na psychiatrist ni nani? Psychiatrist sasa ndio ndio kama daktari. Yeye ndio daktari wa mind. Yeye ndio upatia na dawa. Oh. The difference between me na yeye ni at huyu anaweza patia na dawa. Huyo mostly deal na dawa. So wewe ndio utapata madhari. Kwa hiyo ndio utapata oh, kitu kile. Wewe ni daktari wa mental illness. Yes. Okay. Mm. Eh. Only yeah. doc wana fanyanga medicine in a way. That's why ni counseling psychologist. Mimi ni counseling psychologist. Okay. Eh. I love psychologist eh, kuna kuna psychologist tu kivi yake hivyo. Ah uh, eh psychologist ni wengi. Eh. Ni wengi. Kila kila place unaweza pata psychologist kuna health psychologist oh, kuna okay, sports okay. psychologist. psychologist. Eh. Oh. Boroko na hiyo training. <laughs> Hata mimi ni party psychologist. <laughs> <laughs> MC Kitoto the party psychologist. Yeah. <laughs> Leo tumeingia hapa na, na na big words. Ani umekuaje? Umekuwa fit? Eh ni story story to the life to venye na flow. Yeah. Na tukingoja mwaka iishe. Yeah. Eh sasa venye vitu zikuja haraka haraka towards yeah. the end of the year. Ah awesome. Mm. Awesome awesome. Mimi pia nimekopoa story to the life to ngoja mwaka ishe. Even if it was so calm. Lakini I think my my previous week a highlight imekuwa nini? Nikuja nikona bana mafundi wana gas man. And this is the second time I'm saying this. Sijua taka sijua na the first time ili sema mani nini but mafundi sasa so, sijui kama sijui kama mafundi wa nguo ina dependi fundi mgani pia jioni jo saa alfini kama ni fundi wa brain lakini lakini sasa ni fundi mgani kama watu lakini wanaibisha Yesu kama Yesu alikuwa fundi na watu wako hivi lakini fundi wana guess huku nje i hope to na wangu wangu ni kwa gari mm ayo fundi wa gari bana ni na sasa shida hizo guess work zao ni very expensive alafu utampeleka wapi akisha nini i think the government inafaa kuingililia peleka gari Toyota Kenya Buda ukienda kwa garage ya mstuni unatoa Kwanza kwanza. Kwanza nafikiri hivi kwa garage mtu anakuambia, "Leta ile nyundo kubwa." Na changa mzungu akutengeneza gari ikuje ipigwe na nyundo kubwa. Alikuwa anajua kuna 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 tuli ya kufungwa hiyo nat. Lakini sasa mtu, "Eh, leta ile nyundo kubwa." Lakini ni sawa. Hivyo ndo wiki yangu imekuwa gari imenileta mbio, but we thank God. Eh, nimekuwa bwiri wa afya, afya naye. Kwanza kwa equal weather, sijasumbuana sana na kifua. Na kifua yangu inaanga very sensitive. Yeah so that is also a very big highlight. To our viewers na jua show na title ya what we are about to discuss kwa <laughs> kwa, kwa nini eh, kwa title la show what mm. we are about to discuss but mm. sasa kwa sisi for the first time tumepata na mtu before tupange content 
si ndio mm. eh yeah. hizi ngine tunakuja ngapa tuna vitu conversation watu wanasema vitu zao sasa hapa alfi mm. pale imefika mimi mzee ni mi psikolojia yangu ni saidia sherehe <laughs> so chani kwa chie ya nini ya trauma ya na trauma. childhood trauma na hizi vitu zote mm. ni kwa chie wewe sote take over yeah. utaambia vinye kunaenda lakini ah. kuna swali moja before uingie uliza eh watu wanasema anga calling zao zinakuanga zinakuanga based on uh-huh. kitu imekusukuma ili ku trigger sasa ngombe kitu ulipambana nayo sana mm. eh, like mbona ulichagua kufanya yeah. eh. yeah. Na hiyo ni kweli yeah. because um, kama sasa hivi tutaanza kuongea about trauma trauma ni ni kidonda mm. na ni kidonda yenye na happen kwa psychology yako your brain basically mm. your psyche so ni injury ya mind mm. na ni kitu uwezi tu fikia just because unaenda chacha mbona unafanya nini because ndio ni swali ulikuwa umeniuliza some time ago like what's the difference between trauma and sin mm. the difference between trauma and sin is that sin you choose to do one then mm. another thing sin is something you do but trauma is not something you choose it happens to you mm. you kufanyikia bila wewe kuchagua because things that should have happened to you did not happen that's why unasikia tunaongea about childhood trauma ni kidonda inakuanzia kutoka utotoni na unajua as a child ukizaliwa haujakuja kwa hiyo world ukijua venye unataka kuishi mm. lazima ushikiliwe na watu ugaidiwe And those people are your parents who become your role models mm. kuna saying sio kuangana kwa hii area yetu is that the person who catenrises life for you models life for you So kama mtu amekumodelia life ya ugumu hivyo ndo uta grow up ukijua life inakuwa hard au unaonanga between black and white and gray na nini na nini and that also explains kwa nini watu choose certain careers bila au kujua that even ndio wako another aspect yenye uji reveal ni kama hyper independence unapata mseni go geta umse lazima afanye afanye what they need to do kumbe huyo jamaa hajui kenye na drive ni neglect kwa childhood yake alikuwa neglected So a, a result of neglect ni unakuwa hyper independent unaanza kujitafuta unaanza kujitafutia kwa sababu ukiwa mdogo huko mm. unapatiwa what you needed juu mtu hii you need physical needs za watu hii ni important food shelter nini zile siuambiwa but the other very important need ya mtu ni the emotional needs mtu huyu akilia ana need kuhagiwa ana need kukua comforted lakini ukifukuzwa uambiwe ende ujisort na huko utagrow up ukijua eh mimi ni mbaya juu ya kulia na mtu huyo ajui kudifferentiate naweza kusema by then hiyo issue haya atasema mimi ndio mbaya so hii inakuwa kidonda mm. usipokuja ku address hiyo issue mtu ana grow up na trauma that's why umesikia mtu ako hyper independent mimi nitaangalia what's the issue mimi nitaangalia what happened to you nili kufanyikia mm. so kuja kwa therapy room yangu nitataka ku investigate what happened to you it's not what's wrong with you mimi sitauliza what is wrong with you mimi nitauliza what happened to you na hiyo inafanya ni kwa na hiyo utu niweza tu kujua ni nini na ku drive kufanya venye unafanya so unapata watu wengine wamekuwa wametaka kukuwa lawyers engineers nini daktari ndio asiwahi kuwa ina space yenye ata feel neglected mm. na hajajua hiyo ndio imemdrive kufanya hiyo kitu sasa unapata ngamse anakuwa doki kidogo kidogo anasikia eh hey, doki ni bambi anaenda na thrive kama event planner ndio sasa hiyo ndio ilikuwa life the life journey yake but usipo address the issues of trauma na trauma ni nini trauma ni kidonda Mm. Tu nimesema it's a wound mm. na hiyo wound na kwa singi split ndani yako na ni trauma ya ni, trauma ni wound ya mind mm. that is why it is so hard kuiendea because number one ilikufanyikia bila we kujua bila we kuchagua so unafanya vitu unconsciously bila kujua ni nini na kudrive na hiyo ndio the danger of trauma mm. so unapata hata mse anate ana hii mm. mse yako addicted addicts 97% of addictions come from childhood trauma and because mtu akianza kuchukua tea ama kuvuta weed alikuwa anaitumia za solution to their problems na hako anajua ni nini alikuwa lakini alikuwa anajua hiki kitu nikikunywa natulia hiki kitu mm. nikikunywa na kwa nimerelax so yako anajua hiyo ndio ilikuwa the issue that kuna kidonda ile mfanyikia ama kuna mtu alimfanyia kitu mbaya mm. na haku notice na notice kitu mbaya in this case same mtu hii akue <coughs> abused neglected or abandoned if any of these three happens mtu hii you grow up akijua mimi ni mbaya kwa nini si kuchungwa kumaanisha mimi ni mbaya mm. so mtu yeye na grow up akijiwanga mimi ni mse mbaya na ana develop characteristics za kumsaidia ku survive childhood yenye ilikuwa haijam accept mm. sababu akisha kwa akisha feel rejected mtu yeye ajui kusema kama venye si uweza kusema ati by the way hii ndio issue na sio mimi mtu yeye atasema mimi ndio issue na hapo ndio shida huanzia mtu yeye akisha sema mimi ndio issue na achukulie hivyo mm. anaanza ku develop tabia tokoza kusurvive your childhood ndio 
akue safe. Mm. So mtoyesha feel like you're safe in their childhood growing up in a home that is abusive na nini all that ni, ni issues you kuja. So if was ando inakujanga and then ukisha and the opposite of that ni ukikuwa loved, cared and protected for unakuwa healthy. So una grow up as a healthy child, mm. the other side una grow up unhealthy. Yeah. So hiyo ndio balance. Na wewe wewe mbuli mm. mmoja nataka kuwa nini? Kuna kitu ili kupush huko ile na society ina, ina fall ama ah ah mimi hata yangu ni jani jani yangu imekuwa very interesting mm. juu hivi wenye nimekaa hapa kuna nimesomea nimesomea diploma in law mm. si kwa imaliza nimefanya degree in kind in journalism psychology na literature si kwa imaliza mm. eh, nimefanya communication si kwa imaliza mm. unaona kuna ka trend so ninaanza kitu vizuri alafu tena mahali tunakuja naishia mm. naachana nayo so that was all, that was a journey kunipeleka to the place where nilikuwa nimejua nataka kufanya psychology but nili feel psychology so natengeneza doa aje so mimi mm. nikataka nitafute ile career itanileta do mm. so in the in the pursuit of that kumbe nilikuwa nimepotea njia because what i thought was good for me was actually not the right fit mm. ni kama kuendea kiatu kiatu inakaa poa lakini ikutoshei so kiatu difiti on the outside lakini imekufinya deadly mm. so huko comfortable na hiyo kiatu mm. so that's how it feels uko kwa space yenye hauko comfortable hauko how thrive how drive na passion yako mm. juu kitu yenyeko passionate about utaifanya bila ku struggle okay. so nilikuwa jipata na struggle sana kama ni kwa communication unapata ma assignments ni kibao need mm. ma research is on cause na niudi kwa psychology ndio kuna research na nini mm. lakini niko more interested kufanya hiyo research kwa sababu ni vitu zinani excite mm. lakini huko kwingine nilikuwa tunasumbuka law nilikuwa nataka kusoma juu nilikuwa nataka nionekane hakuna reason nyingine nilikuwa nataka kufanya lawyer nini lawyer mm. hakuna ilikuwa tu na hiyo cloud ya yeah, mini lawyer but later after sando nika after nimepita issue zangu na story zangu za tei na nini mm. huko ndo nika nikakula humble juu sasa tei kurudisha back to zero hiyo rock bottom watu sema ni mm. back to zero una flat line mm. sasa so, kutoka hapo ndo nikajijenga nikajiambia you know what wacha nichukue ile career path ina nifaa si ile nafikiria ina nifaa so nikiwa rehab ndo nikaanza ku deal na issues zangu na nika realize eh hey, kumbe niko na resentment kumbe mm. niko na makasiriko kumbe mm. kuna watu nimebeba kwa mind yangu mm. kumbe hawa si ndo nimealao nisumbue watu walinibuli nikiwa mdogo mm. bado nimwabeba hadi sasa hii hiyo time bado hujua sikuwa nimejua stories za trauma mm. ni after nimeingia sasa shule kusoma addiction counseling ndio nikakutana na therapist ndio therapist akaniambia eh hey, by the brother uko na trauma sasa eh. watu kama sisi hapa <coughs> wenye tujawai enda kwa therapist mm. pengine hata tutawai enda <laughs> <laughs> tunaweza kuwa tuko traumatized in some way na tujui eh hey, mnaweza kuwa mko traumatized so is it can we live with the trauma and live a good life or if if no mm. how do we know that we are traumatized and what area specifically is making us do the things that we do mm. if it is how do we realize something is wrong kama hiyo vile mm. kawe ulifika hapo mwisho kabisa mm. eh sisi si hatujafika mwisho kama <laughs> mm. <laughs> umefika wewe <laughs> jiongelele jiongelele tu peke yako na hakuna okay kama ukunywi pombe utumie mm. ni drug mm. most likely utaona tu uko sawa utaona ngatu hizi ni challenges za yeah. life mm. eh. so unaweza realize something is wrong or or i'm not traumatized or mm. ina, inakuwaje Unajua that's the that's the, the tricky part ya trauma. Mm. Haujuangi iko. Unajua ni kitu ume develop tangu kwa mtoi because uli realize eh hapa vitu hapa vitu ni unsafe. Siko safe kwa hii hao. So you grew up in a home where you felt unsafe. So because of hivyo uka develop to tabia na zitanga characteristics that ziliweza kukusaidia ku survive childhood that felt unsafe. Lakini sasa juu umekuwa adult vitu ulikuwa unafanya ukiwa mtoi sasa zikusustain in adulthood. Na hizo characteristics ndio niko nazo kadhani. Lini tukiwa tuna discuss na nini niliambia trauma kuna type mbili. Mm. Kuna ile PTSD ile yenye watu wanaonanga kwa mwi post traumatic stress disorder. Mm. Kuna ile yenye watu wana kwa TV ya soldier ametoka war anakuwa ana na nightmares ana na flashback uh, kuna places ana avoid unachikimsi yako hyper vigilant msema ana, anashinda kiangalia kwa dirisha anasikia ana kama anafuatwa hizo zote ni aspects za PTSD hiyo mm. ni PTSD ile sasa yenye inafanyikianga watu wengi in some way watu, we, watu wenye waliona post election violence tuko traumatized in some way 
si wote wenye tuli witness mm-hmm. eh, po nini hiyo post election violence tuko traumatized in a way because mm-hmm. tuliona war tuliona something that looked like a war mm-hmm. we saw violence on tv tuli live in fear for some time for our own safety and a whole generation went through that and that is why a whole generation has to every time election inakuja kuna ka tension mstori za peace zinaanza anga sijui nini mm-hmm. watu wanza kwa wow it is pigane ni your whole generation was hurt by that but i took realize tulisonga tu tuko like ah it happened tena kwa hivyo tuizuie mm-hmm. and that's how you happen ukiwa mtoi una try kuzuia hiyo kitu kukuumiza tena so una develop a characteristic that will prevent you from getting hurt again so the whole reason hiyo characteristic ni ndio usiumie tena so kama case in point mimi mm-hmm. nilikuwa nauliza so niko na hizo characteristics hapa so hata kwa viewers mtu anaweza jiuliza aseme tu yes ama no hata tu nyinyi mkiwa hapa tu mseme tu yes or no kwa brain kwa brain atusemi usisemi au usiseme okay sawa useme juu usiseme lakini lakini nitusaidia hapo ulikuwa hapa ready kusema sisi ndo guinea pigs eh yeah lakini iseme tu kwa brain hata viewers waweze ku juu ni kitu nataka uweze kuifikiria kindani juu story za trauma huwezi tu zitafuta unajua trauma ni kitu umeishi ukifanya kwa hivyo inakuwa ni kama ni tabia naona that ni tabia normal but mm. it's not normal it's actually something that is rooted in the abnormal mm. so nilisema nil PTSD iko na 10 characteristics hizo mm. zenye nimetaja flashbacks avoidance of certain places hypervigilance mm. kukua triggered kukua na hypervigilance ma mood swing hizo mm. ni kiinde peke 10 characteristics peke yake mm. na hizi ndio zina treat yango kesi ya dawa za PTSD wana treating hii so a uh, big pharma or may spend more than uko sa the numbers are 600 million dollars mm. are being spent worldwide to treat he PTSD yet the real issue ni ingine nya tongeangi inaitwa complex trauma mm. na complex trauma tuongeleangi because haijelewe kapasi so ndo watu wanaanza kuielewa mm. so complex trauma ndo the real issue na society has very little understanding or awareness of it and that is where the problem starts kwa sababu hapa ndio issues iko inetangwa CPTSD complex post traumatic stress disorder mm. and the reason why inaletanga shida ni juu you wanza tangu utotoni so nikaishuka uanza ukisha kuwa mtoi na experience kitu mm. and then because ukujua venye ku handle hiyo kitu ka develop katabia ama ka kitu hizi characteristics za complex trauma ni 60 hizo ni kiinde hizi ni 60 zenye hata nitataja hapa ni a nutshell ni zina touch on everything Mm. everything you want to relationship na nini because he complex trauma near relational type of trauma you could jack relationships families organizations businesses schools that is why we see joy ki happen kuna mm. aware kwa relationship yako na dem mama boy na dem ivo huge tokeza hapo so these characteristics must you hata tuko viewers unajibu tu yes or no ivo tu kwa green yako pen and paper eh yeah. Yeah. get a pen and paper andika tu y na n hivyo tu <laughs> yeah. y na n kwa sababu zenye nitauliza mm. na ukwe honest the, the whole point ni ukwe honest the whole of this time ni kukuwa tu honest so mm. swali ya kwanza mm. do you have self esteem issues swali ya pili do you suffer from depression or do you occasionally have depressive episodes depressive episodes ni wakati unajipata uko na uzembe kutoka kwa bed na unasikia hiyo uzembe inakaa for like hours unasikia asubuhi au una nguvu na nini hiyo ni a depressive episode do you have anxiety do you have trust issues do you have anger issues uji patoki kasirika na ujuni kwa nini unajipata tu kwa na makasiriko do you have authority issues authority issues ni kusema we mse mwenyako uko every time unangonga tu na issue na mtu mwenyako juu yako bosi yako lazima mvurugane na yeye Every time tuko na issues tuna watu wako in authority mm. mzazi nani as long as una feel mtu wako in authority you always have an issue with that because of experience yako na authority figures do you have control issues control issues ni wewe well, lazima vitu ziende venye wewe unafaa venye wewe unasema ndio zinafaa ziende ukijipata una control situations ama unatakuwa in charge ama unatakuchukulia kitu because una how trust watu kuweza kuifanya vizuri yoni control issues na control issues na tie na trust issues mm-hmm. so ukikuwa uko na trust issues uko na control issues so zi tie in so so at ati 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 at because tena usiende na venye na sound i think hiyo ndio issue nyingine watu watafanya ndio usiende na venye na sound ati hiyo ikai kama ni mimi nikikuelezea ndio utajua yenyewe inakaa kaa wewe na ni kitu mm-hmm. unafanya so mm-hmm. utanotice nitaenda nikizi explain 
So control issues zio arise from trust issues. So kama how trust wase kudu kitu, wuna jipatu nda kuteko over. Awacha tunda ifanya, awacha tunda fanya. Wuna wana ni kama una kwa mtu mzuri, una try kuondole watu pressure na kumbo kwa na control issues. Hmm. Una wana venye zi ukuja zina jitai in haya. Do you wear masks? When ule mse mwenye ukioga, ukitoka kwa hao, leo unajiambia natoka kama so and so. Leo natoka nikiwa kama, leo nitakuwa na furaha, leo nitaka kama, nitavanguo ndio iyo ni kuva mask. So you're not going out as your real self, you're going out as somebody that you think you need to show to the world. Which is a problem. Lazima utoke kwa world, ukiwa authentic. Kama ni alfi, nitoke kama alfi. Sio alfi version fulani na fikiria. Mm. Eh. Do you know who you are? Do you know who you are? Unajijua? Unajua kuna ile kujijua na kuna kujitambua. Kujijua ni kuji, kuji, kujitambua ndo watu wengi ufanya. But kujijua watu wajijui. Hauna awareness of yourself. Uko na knowledge about yourself. That is kujitambua. You can identify yourself by name. By government name. Iyo ndio kujitambua. Jitambulishe. That's why, that's why ID naitua kitambulisho. Sio kijulisho. That's why ID naitua hivyo. Kitambulisho. Nya kukutambua. It is just identifying you as. But who are you? Because who are you is not steeped in who you identify as. It is who you are. The real authentic you. Hiyo ndio who you are. Mimi ni nani? Mm-hmm. Na hapo sasa ndo muambia wase ukikuja kwa therapy ya room yangu lazima uko in touch with your good bad and ugly side. Kila mtu anakuanga nayo. Mm. Uko na good side, uko na bad side, uko na an ugly side. Si utakakuonyesha na the good all the time. The fact that you're trying to show the good all the time means you're wearing masks. So hapo ndo mungu kushikia. Mm. So if every time you're trying to be the good person, then you're wearing a mask. Because iyo every day hautakuwa mpoa. Every day kuna times utakosea utaka utakasirika. A travel kinyo watu wataki kuanisha na makasiriko so unafinyilia ah mimi sasa kistaki watu wajue mungu jam mm. jam ndo watu wajue uko na emotions zingine mm. kasirika ni, ni important also haya are you a perfectionist wewe vitu lazima ziende na mpango fulani so kama ulisema uko na control issues then when ni perfectionist mm. utajipata kuna vitu fulani unataka zifanywe na certain as is performance na kukera wewe wala watu wenye pencil ikisonga mtu anataka kuja ku correct watu wanakuja kupanga wale watu wanataka kupanga nyumba yako au oh, ni watu very dangerous <coughs> in a good way in a good way in a good way not dangerous in a good way because mm. um, um say itakuwa point in the beginning but wait until you anze kukua an issue when now you have to do what they tell you to do that's where the problem comes in mm. are you a people pleaser wewe ni mtu wa kusema yes to people haunanga no kwa vocabulary yako Yake tu ni yes, yes. Watu wakisema, bro, utaweza kuonekana? Unaonekana. E, utakangi kudisappoint watu. Kama usha ijipata, umesema, by the way, mispendi kukosea watu. Mm. Jiulize, ni vitu ngapi umesema yes to, that you are supposed to say no to, ama kitu ulisema yes to, na ukajiambia, iyo likuwa nafaa kuwa no, and then una regret kwa nini lienda. So unaenda kwa bash, unakaa kwa kona, umenuna, juu, huku kwa na ability ya kusema no. So umesha kuwa people pleaser. Do you have trouble saying no? If you say you're a people pleaser, you have trouble saying no. And therefore, if you have trouble saying no, then you have issues na boundaries. Where una boundaries? So una boundaries. Wewe uju kama uju kusema no una boundaries. Ni, ni, zinakuwa, eh, eh. Tukosaka tukiwa kwa zote. <laughs> no, <laughs> na kama uko na boundary issues, mm, mm. na kama uko na boundary issues na ni people pleaser then uko na manipulation. Wewe ni manipulator. Manipulation ni utataka vitu ziende your way. If you're a perfectionist, you're a manipulator. If you're a ma- manipulator and a perfectionist, uko na control issues. So, di kujua to the root cause. Ndi bado swali yako, najibu. Haya, hapa ndi wakuzuri. Do you long for, for intimacy but you're afraid of it? Unataka sana kupendwa lakini unogopa sana. Unogopa sana kuingia kwa relationship, unogopa sana kupenda, kupendwa na kupendana. Mm. Haya. Do you gain value from being a human doer rather than a human being? O gain value kwa kufanya vitu kwa watu, ukifanya kitu ndo unasikia poa rather than being wewe, unataka kufanya vitu, unataka kufanya watu vitu ndio, ukifanya kitu ndo unasikia watu kupatia approval, unasikia hapa ah, hivi ni niko na value. So unasika approval ya wase. So how do you validate? Una validate hiyo na watu. So validation yako comes from the things you do for people, not the person that you are. So si venye alfi yako. So lazima nijitokeze na kama unavaa masks na ukasema yes kwa ukasema no kwa hiyo hapo unafaa useme yes. 
do if you wear a mask you're gaining value from people wearing masks means also you're a people pleaser uh, do you, are you hypersensitive to disrespect mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are you, when, when you let me say what okay kuongelea shambaya unachukulia hiyo ni kama disrespect una jam yako yote uko ve yani unasikia anga mtu akiongea kama umejipata una, una interpret kenya mtu anasema and then ukajiuliza ukaamu ukamuuliza so kenye unajaribu kusema kama umejipata ukisema hivyo mm. there's a high chance you're hypersensitive to disrespect una try kuelewa ni nini yeye unajaribu kuniambia bado wewe kenye umeambiwa mm. unajaribu ku understand ni nini anajaribu kusema <laughs> so hiyo ni ngori hiyo mm. mtu there's a high chance kama uko mm. na anger issues na uko hypersensitive to disrespect hivyo mm. ndio uongelesha watu so lazima watu wakuongeleshe perfectly hiyo pia ni perfectionism na unaona savages na jitain are you negative and critical to others wewe kazi yako ni kutoa marks kwa watu ukiona kitu ni kutoa marks e, na unaitanga jokes <laughs> unaitanga jokes. When I'm critical una diss watu lakini unaziita jokes. Kwani ujui jokes chungana sana watu kama hao. <laughs> chungana sana watu yeah. anakuambia tikwa ni ujui jokes chungana sana na watu kama hao. Wodi jama labda na kudiss na nakuweka chini na ujui. Haya. Are you impulsive? When you let me say we kaende kaende. Kaende kaende. Uko na uko na ashu na unafa na unafa ati na una food, una una bike kitu kingine na hiyo ashu because una feel unataka kufanyia kitu. So una kwa impulsive unaenda una buy eh, viazi karai ama kitu kingine bale ubai kenye ulikuwa na actually need unaendea for what you want so I, I, kwa impulsive ni kuendea for what you want not what you need so ukisikia tu kwa na tamaa unaendea kitu nani mwingine unajua ufanye hivyo mtoto mdogo mtoto mdogo akitaka anataka so ukijipata una drive una drive on wants iko kitu do you dissociate dissociation ni thoughts feelings na memories zako zinakuwa separate from the rest of you so basically unaji, unajigawanisha so kenye wewe unafikiria feelings zako na memories zako zinakuwa very very different from you mm. sema uki go through a difficult experience kama death ya mtu death ya mtu ulipenda death of a loved one you kufanya u dissociate una disconnect feelings zako thoughts na memories for that event ndio ze tuku handle alafu sasa shida ni hiyo ni safety mechanism ni brain yako ina try ku protect but then ujipata unafanya hivyo over and over over and over so una dissociate from everything so ukipata any negative in, uh, emotion una dissociate so how feel emotions zako that's the problem how feel emotions zako do you have, then ukishako mtu una dissociate then you have trouble regulating emotions so do you have trouble regulating your emotions kama unasema una dissociate uko na trouble regulating your emotions mm. if you said you have trouble regulating your emotions then you're you an emotional staffer Do you need distractions? Do you deal well with stress? Are you a great starter but a poor finisher? When you start a project, vizuri na unaanza na cycle na flow, alafu unafika mali unakwama. Inaisha tu. So unako uko na ma projects undone. I love sasa pasa ndo na join tashikia watu wengi. Do you have fear of change? Do you have fear of the unknown? Do you have fear of abandonment? Do you have fear of failure? Do you have fear of conflict? Do you avoid conflict? Try to bigana na watu. Are you afraid of being a burden? Do you self sabotage? Do you sabotage your own success? Self sabotage hapa ni kitu rais ni nilikuwa nimewaambia. Mtu anakupea compliment, unamwambia ah hata hii si ile nguo nzuri ni miuva. Umejichomea. Bado utukue compliment, una downgrade. Hiyo ni self sabotage. Na unajipata ngo kufanya hivyo unconsciously. Na ujui ni kwa nini. So many relationship issues na problems you talk from heat trauma. Inaitwa complex trauma na hizi zote zenye nimetaja ni coping mechanisms. Unaona ni mzuri ukiwa mtoto. But as you grow, they now cannot sustain you in adulthood. Yeah. Hey. So, conclusion hiyo ni <coughs> conclusion hiyo ni if mm. if you answered yes to 10 or more of these questions, you have complex trauma. Kamul sema yes to 10 or more then you have complex trauma come on below up you are okay bado bado kuna shida bado ndani ku investigate ndani ku investigate ame ju kwa nini kuna watu lazima lazima kuna tuzi kuna kuna watu kuna watu hawajui you know sasa namu una deny because you're so good at easy coping mechanism na just na kuanga second nature umekuwa so good at not noticing it that you realize that you're very good at not noticing it mm-hmm. so iko lakini ju ina sound maana nilisema kuanzia mwanzo mm-hmm. just because ina sound kama sio wewe inaweza kuwa ni wewe that's actually a defense mechanism yenye mm-hmm. umeweka mm-hmm. inaitwa denial denial is a defense mechanism so may deny because i sound ka mimi but if i ku sound ka wewe 
ni tabia tu uko nayo so ukikuja kwa therapy room yangu tuta assess tuone where is the issue then nitaweza kukuexplainia hii inamaanisha hivi that's why mbona nime go to great lens ku explain zingine i'm always make wrong assessment ju kulingana na venye hizo vitu umesema mm. kuna zingine manze you cannot tolerate disrespect obviously <laughs> true <laughs> yeah. how do you handle that mm-hmm. plus also i feel like hii kama story ya people pleasing sijui nitumelelewa hivyo ama ilitoka wapi mm-hmm. but obviously we have been raised to be nice to people how do you differentiate being a nice to someone uh, nice to people pleasing mm. sometimes you don't have to okay as you have said mm. you should not be an emotional stuffer yes. but is it like just okay not to like express some emotions just as a friend mtu unajua mm. pia how mm. do you like differentiate these things ama vitu zingine si naona tu ni tabia mzuri ama inatokea wapi shida nazo the 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 quick answer to that is wo kifanya hivyo do you feel safe is it for your own safety or the safety of others sababu trauma mm. ni safety yako wo mm. unajichunga Sita, Auchung... sitaki maneno au utaki man... so ni wewe unajichunga is that wrong it is a problem if it prevents you from relating authentically with people that's a problem mm. sababu hauja hauja haukuza hukuzaliwa na ukaletwa kwa hii life kuishi life yenye ni average mm. just under under the radar au hukuza hukuletwa kwa hii life kuishi yo, yo life ya even that's why mnaambia stories a purpose purpose is about living an extraordinary life you cannot live an extraordinary life if you're not authentic to who you are if you're not authentic to who you are sawa mtu atakukosea true but how do you communicate that to somebody ndio mtu ajue you have a boundary because the problem with people pleasing is how na boundaries so people can criss cross your life all the way they want when do you get to tell people hapa uwezi puka na inakuwa ni hivyo here you don't cross and that's it what what are offended whether you like it or not you having a no means people are going to be offended mm. but something mufunza say is you have to have the courage to be disliked kabo na she life kuwa popular with everyone there is a problem Uwezi kuwa popular with everyone. Kuna watu wanakuchukia hata saa hii ukiwa tu venye uko. Kuna mtu anakuchukia sana hata <laughs> saa hii venye uko. So imagine so ukianza kuko authentic. Mm, Utachukiwa zaidi, zaidi but you see that's how you know your tribe, what I call the tribe, your tribe of authentic people. So labda nyinyi mnaishi mnadhani mko marafiki lakini mume bond in dysfunction, mume bond in trauma, muli bond your issues zenu. Na hiyo pia tie into relationship. Unaingia kwa relationship na dem juu unaona ako na issues mingi na issues zake unaona unaweza mfixia. So mnaingia mnaingia na pamoja mufixiane. Mm. Bala mu complimentiane. Instead of complimenting mm. you're fixing each other. Nali alipatia na hiyo job ya kufix watu. As a therapist I don't fix people. Mm. I don't do the work of fixing. I only do the work of guiding you to see where the issue is. So basically mu highlight, mu ku guide na ndio issue. Mm. So unaweza iona unataka ku accept. So kujibu swali yako being nice is not okay. Being nice is not good. The the real thing to be <laughs> being a nice person is not good. Mm. Nice people are not nice. They are anything but. Ukikuwa okay, nice guy Nice guys who are all the time. Let me give you characteristics. Ah, nice guy in tofauti na nice person like you. <laughs> But it's the same thing. It's a, yeah. it's a fact that you're nice. Oh. So what are, so <laughs> uki label different does it change it? You're okay. still nice. I I change and that's why as one aka hiyo sasa hiyo ni kitu unaidentify. If you are if you're having to change something to sound better. better yeah. That's that's something umekuwa ukifanya unconsciously na unajua ukijua unaona. So it comes from somewhere. So me to investigate ni takuja where does that come from? Did you come from a space where you were expected to be perfect? Kimasomo. Mm. It was ni grade. So your value came from the grade. Mm. Your sense of approval came from the grade you brought home, not the person that you were. Unaona sasa differentiation mali imekuja. Mm. Mm. So kama value yako ina come from <laughs> grade yako, <laughs> then will you attach value <laughs> na sense of approval yako? kutoka mzazi from the grade so shule ulijisomesha <laughs> ukasoma ukapata a mm. ndio mzazi akwambie very good mm. now what happens when umesoma hiyo vyote na mzazi akwambie very good you feel ashamed uh, lakini lakini alfi mm. unazalipa tu school fees mtu waende tu acheze nayo kweli tu ndio <laughs> mtu hezi enda kucheza na school fees of yeah. course lakini yeah. wezi attach value ya mtu to, to grade you can't do that how do you separate that? yes exactly how do you separate that yeah. mm approve somebody for who they are as a person not as a entity mm. not for what they can do but who they are it's not about what somebody can do it's about who that person is to you 
wewe as a child wewe uko na mzazi wako you'd want your parent to see you as their child not a result una get mm. so apo ana hiyo ndio issues zenye watu most of us grew up in homes like that to li expect you ni kuna kuna eh, kuna mtu yuko kwa home kama hiyo eh uli expect you to mm. perform so value yako na absence of approval yako from mzazi wako which was supposed to be given unconditionally mzazi akikuleta kwa hii world hiyo ni unconditional kukule kukraise ni unconditional kukupenda ni unconditional what happens now when they attach value to you by saying grade zako ndo zitakufanya nikupende is they make it conditional so una grow up ukijuanga hii relationship yetu ni ni based on grade zangu that's a problem that i'll get dad's love and approval based on my performance based on my ukizaliwa ulizaliwa based on Were you there when they were having that discussion wakiwa na mali? Una get mali issues sana kuja. Haukuwa, haukujua. Only pata, only pata undi your dad, undi your mom. Mm. So imagine as a child unaletwa kwa hii world na hiyo ndo unafunzwa. So uta grow up ukijua performance is everything. If I want to be valuable in this life I have to perform. Hapo ndo watu wengi wanakuja kuko hyper independent. But, but do yo hata hata kama ni story too. Do you think we can be valued without adding value? How do you as in shu, any two pali okay ideally yes alfini tunafaa kupendwa yes. for just being human you. beings for just being you yes yes okay i don't know if value because we have life that's true eh yeah. but is it the reality it should be the reality but it's not because mm. there is a whole generation that was messed up that came and messed us up then sasa sisi not tunajaribu to correct some of these things that's what apata watu wengi wenye ni millennials they go into the space of therapy because millennials do alikuja ku understand eh by the way apart to me grow vibaya that is how gen z's are vocal that is how gen z's na gen alpha mm. they onyona kuja after gen z's wako very vocal that's when i find they can talk to you they can ask you questions time yetu ungeza kuuliza maswali so we grew up in that space of pressure where you can't ask questions even though you had questions are, are, so, mm-hmm. sorry to like any are these things also creating some negative impact in, negative Is impact like being uh, outwardly authentic at yeah. everything yes but inwardly unaona because the th- the truth of the matter is wazazi wetu mm. and i say this with a lot of sensitivity kwa sababu najua yule tangori nikianza kuingia stories za wazazi wazazi wetu wa did a very good job at meeting our physical needs but they did a poor job at meeting our emotional needs as kids that is where the issue started emotional needs zetu nyingi hazikumitiwa na ni a simple emotional need like being comforted kuhagiwa mm. kuambiwa well done kupewa kupewa pat on the back na mdako ama ama hivyo <laughs> a simple thing like that ilikuwa <laughs> because because babangu alikuwa na hug nyingine moto sana yeah. yeah. ilikuwa ilikuwa very nini warm mm lakini ndo uipate <laughs> una, una get unaona sasa aso ndo uipate ndo uipate eh yeah. yeah. you have to do so much and mm. you don't have to do that that's mm. the thing you don't have to do the fact that when you tumesema kitoto that as a human being that's where your value comes from so your value should not be based on something outside of that lazima ikuwe ni wewe ni binadamu wewe ni mtoto wangu na ninakupenda hivyo na hatuwezi blame wazazi wetu because hata hao kuna wazazi wao mm. waliwafanyia makosa na hakujua ni makosa then so that builds into the story of your grandparents how they raised your parents is how your parents raised you if you don't draw that line na decide kufanya different utafanya tu venye wamekuwa kifanya hakuna kitu utafanya tofauti hata uende shule aje you will do exactly what they did you, you, you okay you said mm. uh, kwa hizo vitu characteristics ulisoma mm. ukiona kumi, uko na PPS hapana complex trauma it is dio ni noma ni watu ni watu watu wa army kwa na complex trauma so ukiwa na mbili hivi ali alikuwa ameuliza uko tu sawa ama nane ama tisa uko tu sawa alafu what is the what is the percentage of people who have childhood trauma like is it 100% lazima tu kwa na trauma in africa is 100 yes sawa alafu una agree ni 100% Eh, kama kama uli raiseiwa na mzazi mwenye ni Afrika ni Afrika <laughs> na, Boomer. na boomers mm. na na Gen X mm. eh ni boomers ni in fact hiyo generation ya boomers na i think Gen X hapo mm. kwanza boomers eh kama umeraiseiwa na boomer uko na trauma you have trauma 
you've been so. raised by a boomer somewhere eh, you have trauma. this trauma Aye. somewhere so na, na your percentage ni kuna wenye ndio wame grow up healthy and mm. i'm not and i'm not denying or disputing that mm. the larger majority ndio wame suffer trauma. trauma it's a large majority Aye. about 97% mimi nataka kujua if ninety-seven percent, kwa hii room tu watu wengi mko na trauma sasa yeah. nilikuuliza yeah. <laughs> mimi atakujua ju for me mimi najua kuna disconnect yes. okay according to what we are taught in our church mm. not in our church but in the church mm. <laughs> yeah. in christian in, in christian circles mm. inakuanga hivi sisi ni sisi ni nini by products za sin yes eh yeah. na mimi natupa ile kama si, kama kuna sin utakuwa na trauma as long as umeli, na mimi pia ni sin na mwenye ndaris tena as a by, by product mtoto wangu itakuwa ni sin mm. sasa kuna malitu lazima uangushe. Mm. Eh. So hata ukisema 97 na 3% kwani wali raise wana Yesu. Wali raise wa bahati mzuri na wazazi wenye walijielewa na yeah. waka choose kukuwa healthy themselves then waka choose ku raise healthy kids. Na healthy kids hapa ni about how well adjusted are your, ki- are your kids. So sin is not a factor. Sin is a factor mm. universally. We are all born to sin mm. universally we are all born to sin mm. that's why nilipatia na the difference between trauma and sin is that two things number one, sin you sin you do number one, sin is something you will do number two, sin is also something you will choose to do so itafa utaifanya na sengine utachagua kuifanya the fact the fact the first part ya kui do is cause flesh yetu we are born to sin mm. so there are things you're going to do inherently because you're a sinner then kuna zile vitu uta choose to do because of bad flesh yetu So that is the difference between sin and trauma. So what is what is the difference in between there is that trauma is something you did not choose. It happened to you mm. because of things that should have happened yeah, to you not happen. You're innocent. Yeah. Ulikuwa oh, okay. ulikuwa innocent. So yeah. kitu ilikufanyikia because mzazi ali feel si mimi nili survive time yangu pia wewe uta survive. So na ku raise venye ali raise hiyo. <laughs> military. Yes, ki military. So mm. unaona ana ku raise na tough love. But mtu yeye need tough love and I need to love generally. Mm-hmm. See tough love, just love generally. Mtu yeye need praise na approval. Bila hizo emotional needs ndio watu wengi wana grow up eh, what I would say maladjusted. Mm-hmm. So maladjusted ni hauko well adjusted. Just umesikia healthy he- health means you're well adjusted. Mm-hmm. Mtu yeye anaweza ku feel emotions zake na anaweza communicate his feelings. Our to in rare. That is why tuna feel Gen Z ni rare they are they are different that's why to kiona genzi wakikuwa vocal unasema eh time yetu hiyo ungefinywa mm. na tunaiongea ni kani kitu poa si kitu poa mm. hatuko tunafaa kufinywa we were supposed to be able to communicate our feelings we needed to be able to communicate our feelings okay yeah sasa so, so, like uh, f- for me and kitoto here mm. uh, of course we are not brothers we came from different <laughs> yes mm. kitoto lost his father yes i don't know when was that Wote umeingia ushamba kuongea vitu za vitu za emotions. Yeah, and I lost my mother. Yes. And uh, when we met uh-huh. you told us to write a yes. letter uh-huh. to our parents. Yes. What was that for? Uh, I think the easier way to jibu hiyo swali ni ku, mm. ni kuuliza how was the exercise for you? <laughs> That's the easier. <laughs> how was the exercise for you? <laughs> Before ni patia na the papa how was the, the silence was already <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. lakini mimi kwangu kwangu mm. acha kwanza ni ni jibu pande yangu yeah. mimi tough 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 sana 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 mbona ilikuwa tough juu ulikuwa nakumbuka vitu zingine kuna vitu sana zenye haukuwa haukuwa aware of haukuwa aware juu uh-huh. mimi mi, letter yangu nili nili draft in like four segments <laughs> i think kwa second ulitwambia tutasoma kwa nini eh yeah. yeah, so i think tutasoma kwa the next hii video lazima iko tuna nini mingi but ni sawa so connect tu tuko na time ama ama ita take long inategemea na how how long mimi niko na 3 pages mnaweza so mimi yangu ilikuwa nimeanza na ku thank mhm eh ku ku appreciate for na hiyo sana ni thank you alafu ndiko ni break down tena to next ilikuwa nimekuja kwa inaitwaje kwa kumwambia tuendeleaje sasa hii as a family eh now that he left alafu nyingine sasa nika nikaanza any regrets in the corner maybe mm. angekuwa ange write the wrongs mm. ama pia mimi ninge tunge any hiyo tunge bridge si tulikuwa na gap so kuna ningekuwa na hiyo chance ya ku bridge hiyo gap mm. eh, so hapo kwa ku bridge gap man 
ndo niandika siku tatu hizo zingine tu zilikuwa hizo thank you ziko man si thank you na siku ni juu tu hatuna time lakini ningeandika hapo nini lakini sasa hiyo ku bridge gap shida ni hata si ati mazungu na choka tu eh unasema eh hiki kitu by the way eh hata mimi na feeling tu yani lakini tutaingia kwa hiyo barua so no from now it was a very difficult yes and very emotional very emotional yeah. process eh kwa 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 bel go very difficult uh-huh. and i cried a lot yeah. ah mm. for real for real yo baro na mbona ukuniambia hiyo when was the, when, when, <laughs> when was the last time uliwai lia hivyo when was the last time ulei jipato na lia because of kitu nakumbuka eh uh, nimekuwa hiyo hiyo liko okay nimekuwa nimelia mara kadhaa mm. but that one was that was something, was something else, else. ndio by far man eh na nilikuwa nilitupatia how many days ya kuandika from ilikuwa Thursday ama siku yeah. yeah. niliandika jana around 2 3 am exactly jana yeah. nilikuwa yani hata nilikuwa na shindo what will be the starting statement exactly. and all that but it was on ilikuwa tu hiyo ya kumthank mm. na ile like how we are also going on right now mm-hmm. na maybe a wish kitu kai Okay. Yeah, so my letter kitu tu anasema page start mine was mine wasn't that iko kwa iko mrefu sana i i don't know man it was so hard it was so hard yes eh uh, so tunge tunge zipitia lakini like, sijui tuko na how long na jua tuko na maybe 10 minutes 10 minutes hivi Tena acha tuanze na yako. Sasa yako ndio. Yako ni short. Yako ni short. Sasa ni yako ni nini? So I'm supposed to read it. Yes. Oh my yes. god. <laughs> yes. Kwa nasoma leo utajua. Eh, eh niliandika kwa simu. Haina mm, shida. Haina shida. Very yeah, shida. Shida. But disclaimer yes, kwa audience. So hii yeah. inakuanga very emotional process. So mkiona mkiona msema na go through the process, alia ki go through the process. Eh no, I won't cry, eh, don't worry. Mubea <laughs> in hopefully. Mm. Hopefully. Sawa. Your disclaimer ni sasa. Ni mazo kulia ndalia. Adi na share. Adi na share. Ah so I'm gonna read it very okay. brief one. Mm-hmm. Uh my mother I want you to know that I miss you so much and for over 17 years now I still think about you every day because even if I try to forget my heart will still remember. Mm. In your last days with us It was always a big concern to you that if you died how will your children be? Mm. I want to tell you you are doing okay. You are mother to us and has always been with us in everything up to now. Mm. Your brother Isa cared for us so so much and he's always looked after us. Mm. We are doing okay and now we are big people. Mm. Also n- n- never think that you let us down in any way because you are not with us. You already did the greatest thing to us mm. and that was to show us our lord and savior jesus christ i loved my days with you and i'm sure you did too you know i was always proud of having a young and very beautiful mother mm. you are the best world that i ever lived in mm. unfortunately it was a world that made us happy for a short time mm. and the rest it slaughtered us i love you so much and i miss you so much Mm. Short one. Una feel age. Mm. I will see you man. <laughs> Talk about your feeling. There you are. So it's not process. Talk about the feeling. Then you una feel. I feel honestly. Mm. Honestly. Mm. I feel like very sad and a little bit to cry. But some mostly it's not even to cry about my mother, mm. but uh, about my grandmother and and uh, my mother's brother Isa is my mother's brother. Mm. And these people when our mother passed away mm. they really took good care of us mm. they have always been with us and supported us for everything they have shown us genuine love mm. so i i my emotions are okay of course towards my mother's side but also these people that really took care of us mm. were, was so big man what do you feel about mom about mom as her son what do you feel about mom what do you feel about her i feel like Uh, sometimes i feel like she she watches me and she knows everything that has happened in my life acha acha to nikusimamisha jibu hivi i feel then go useme like usijaribu ku qualify i feel nivo i feel then continue useme like i feel she feels very saddened mm-hmm. to not be with us mm-hmm. 
and if the, of course there was a way that he she could like be here mm. of course she would have been here mm. yeah and uh, but i i really feel like she 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 felt so sad not mm. to be with us mm. to see us grow up mm. yeah. okay okay talk about tell us about what regret you have following your mother's death or you have had following your mother's passing what regret do you have or have you had that you've never talked about but it's a regret no can the case barua i am sure it'll come up a regret mm. honestly i can't find a regret honestly like mm-hmm. when when my mother passed away i was still like very little mm. not very very i was 11 years okay Uh, so i don't know if there was something that i missed to mm. do or i i don't mm. yeah what would you tell her if she was seated right next to you talk to her so ni angalesha asuma meketi hapa tell her uh, away from your letter just talk uh, to her away, f- away from my letter and um, just talk to her asuma meketi hapa maliniko and just talk to her in say 2 3 minutes just talk I I I love you so much mm-hmm. and I miss you every day. I know if there was a way that you would have returned, of course you would. But that's not how this life is. No one who ever left ever came back. Mm. And uh, uh never worry like so much about us because the god that you introduce us to, mm-hmm. you introduced us to has made sure we have everything. Mm. We are doing okay. And we are very hopeful that one day we will reunite again but uh, of course maybe it's not going to be the same in the other world maybe we will not be mother and son maybe we'll just be brothers and sisters <clears throat> in the lord yeah i missed every moment that we had and i wish to like still have the embraces that i had from you travel with you uh, m- make fun and everything but don't worry about anything we are okay mm. yeah. more excuse but don't make it up we, we, we will meet awfully mm. <laughs> yeah good your experience in the quad wow mm-hmm. your, your emotion on a feeling a jitad you know i don't i don't know man identify it like i am shaking yeah yeah but generally kindani una feel aji describe it then you don't keep at your gina that's an important process describe what you're feeling then you don't type at your gina if 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 i could wail no you will go wail i think i'll be i'll feel like whew. good yeah so i feel relief yeah from my experience kitu ni catharsis what you've just experienced is called catharsis here release for the first time in your life you've actually released something you had held on to ulikwanga hivi sasa umeachilia and that's what that feels like so now you've talked to your mom for the first time really talked to her and that is what you've experienced and i'm very proud of you yes a bold step umechukua and i'm very proud of you na hivyo unaendelea na hivyo ndo mtu process yes so eh hivyo ndo process ufanya I am also very proud. Mm. Mm. Very proud. Ni it's a lot of courage at <laughs> mm. And umefungulia watu wengi something that they might need to do and when you tumesema it's hard it's difficult but you need to do it. Otherwise hiyo feeling uko na saa hii haikujangi na hiyo ndio feeling what to chase. But unaona imekuja truthfully because wakati nimekwambia muongeleshe you were able to bring out things you never previously said to her because at at 11 you still perceived something has happened mm. now na misment zilikuwa na nini na hiyo absence ilikuwa so no man unaona area yangu pia ni loss and grief that's why so ni hiyo area but you've done well you've done well breathe in breathe out ngina tena breathe in breathe out bas na even to sasa si urudi for a moment i go up come on notice you are not here for a moment and that's very good eh 
so najua viewers pia wamejione hiyo process inakuanga hivyo tutakuja kufanya kitoto yes. <laughs> 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 yeah. That is an intense way of ending the first the first session the mm. first episode yeah, mm. yeah so it's a session where any session man zija kuwa ta hiyo tija kuwa where yeah. yeah. i think tunafaa kuwa na breather yes mm, okay where mm. and hiyo sasa mm na maana nilipatia na disclaimer so naona venye hata najua viewers of tafio venye hii Mimi ndio chatete mega hata na shangazi juu uende tu. Nini? Hata hata tusikuwe na hiyo episode ya pili. Usijali. Mm, but niko hapa. Yeah. Niko hapa nitaku guide. Uh, yeah. That's that. Sasa. Yeah, with that said, I think we've come to the end of our first mm. session with Nani. First episode with Alfi. <laughs> so, yeah, you tune in for our next one. If you're new to this space, you subscribe and if you want to see more of such content, Yeah, subscribe kindly share and comment see you on the other one next week <laughs> yeah. kwaheri <laughs>